I learned an important lesson reading Guardians 11. Never read when you're in a bad mood. You gotta be positive and happy. I put this thing down when I came back. Uh, I got maybe four pages in, but it was that fourth page where Moon Dragon goes insane. Corey Smith goes insane drawing that. That's the penciler there. That's pretty. The dragon's just firing off against Drax, who Moon Dragon cleared her consciousness because none of these Draxes were real. And we get straight into the action of fighting. Behind, meanwhile, while these dragons are doing their work, you can see Groot talking to Quill. So, uh, everything's just bad then, huh? Yeah, that was fitting. That was very much like Quill from the movies, except Groot doesn't talk in the movies yet. And then uh, the next time he's talking to Rocket, it could have been very cliche and lame. It could have been, if I don't make it, please. Rocket interrupts him. Yeah, 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 you want me to have all your stuff? What? Bradley Cooper's in here? Like, that was so fitting with what the movies are doing right now. So Donny Cates knows everything that I want. He checks all of it. We get the fighting. We get the epicness. We get Rocket. We get Sacrifice. We get Mages because he comes in ready to do his work. He finds Quill's dad right when he was about to whoop his ass. There's a moment where he gets shot. And he... How can you expect to win, it says... And my friends, Antissa Patient. What could he possibly be talking about? How could you expect to win? I wonder who shot him. All questions I'm asking myself while I'm turn and I don't I don't turn those pages really quickly. I actually try to make a little prediction because I love not knowing what's on the other side of this page. How can you expect to win? Uh oh, this is gonna be bad for our heroes. I just damaged the comic. But there is a two-page spread. I wasn't expecting that of everybody. Everybody from that first issue, they were all, they all, some of them all had annuals themselves. This picture was so epic and Grimoire right in the middle. When you got the whole galaxy against you, it says. One of them's on fire. The whole picture's on fire, technically. And there's one dude with a Captain America shield. And I don't know who that is, but if I were to guess when Hickman was writing the Avengers going to space, Infinity, maybe that's how uh, he got his vibranium shield through Captain America, maybe. But uh, he throws it just like Stormbreaker, just like all the other... The, the, some of those guns are from Starjammers. Now, what are the Starjammers doing over here? We just read them in New Mutants and in the X-Men. My solution to that is that these stories are happening before the X-Men go crazy. Remember, this is part five of a six-parter. They began this five months ago. Rosenberg was doing the X-Men back then. But today's X-Men happens six months later after the seeds have sprouted and grown and all the portals have been made. Everything you read in the present is... Uh, everything you read of X-Men is in the present. It's close to the present as you can get. And the stories right now are just catching up to Hoxpox, the weekly event. Um, if people could be quiet in the background, I'll continue with my review. I thought that when Rocket was perceived dead, Stormbreaker going through the uh, Megazord that Rocket is in, never changed my mind or made me feel like he was going to die. The crazy thing is, because Al Ewing's issue number one of Guardians, he's featured on it. The crazy thing is, issue seven of this series had that cover with Rocket bloody. It, w it ended with that big page of him just being skinny and ready to die on his deathbed, literally on his deathbed, just getting out. That, if you would if I would have saw this, Rocket! I might have thought that Rocket was going to die. Knowing Al Ewing and uh, his, his comic book coming up has him on the cover, ruined that for me, unfortunately. Got to stop reading the solicits, but I can't. I need to know what I'm going to order. I got to see that's the thing, yo. And I'll be quick. In 2019, you actually got to pre order your comics because your LC, your local comic book store, needs to know exactly how much he orders because comics are expensive. And if he doesn't get the right amount, He's either upset that he didn't order enough, or he's upset that he ordered too many. So I, I gotta know what's coming, and so I do read the solicits every time, unfortunately. And I don't even do a video on the solicits, like uh, like Thinking Critical, Real Comic Stacks. They like to talk about what's coming up. I don't do that. But I do things they don't do, too. Like, I'll talk about Mandalorian eventually. Tomorrow, I think, will be when I post that video. I haven't recorded it yet, but I love that. Space is the place right now, man. Space is, is the place. Um, we'll continue with the comic, which I'm talking about. Oh, all that happens next is, you know, they just show up on Earth. <laughs> so what am I expecting in, in Guardians issue number 12? A full-on battle between the heroes of Earth versus all of these guys right here. And I hope Earth wins. Yeah, no Earth. I, 
that's what I'm expecting. Unfortunately, I've got high expectations. The final scene is the little stabbed people. Stab, stab, stab. That page only has no words. Look at this. Art. And it's showing a whole lot. Telling me without words. Wonderful. The only words that we saw over here was what Rocket's machine was saying about warning, catastrophic, life support, failure, imminent. Ooh, I wish I believed that he was about to die. Because that page of them um, crowd surfing the gun to him and that last page, spoilers, ready for the last page? So cool. He can't even lift that thing. He's just dragging it. And he said something cool there. I don't remember what it was. But look at that, how cool that was. This touched me, man. Every emotion, anything you can do in a comic book, just Donny Cates hit that checklist and said, Shillmonger, I got you. I know you didn't like the last one. Uh, somehow I didn't make a review on Silver Surfer Black number four, but he knew I didn't like that one. I didn't like it because it, it went in a circle. Am I going to kill Galactus? I decide not to kill Galactus. It, for, for like half the book, we made no progression. So that's why I didn't like that one. I think they had to stretch that to make it a five-part series. And I checked the solicits for the trade paperback of Silver, Silver, Silver Surfer Black. And it's not like a... Fifteen ninety nine book. The prices were real high. U.S. dollars. That ain't right. They just know Donny Cates sells. And they are up in the price. So any, any Donny Cates fans, don't wait for the trades ever. He They know his value, which is nice. Which means he'll be giving more high profile stuff. Maybe a Spider-Man book later on. I'm enjoying Nick Spencer's. Uh, I, what am I talking about? The the history of Marvel and, and their... I, I, that's not my place to talk about what they need to do in the future and where they're coming from. I'm just talking about Guardians of the Galaxy, in which it was a pref preferably, if it was a, if it was a pef, bye, bye, end of the video.